Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler Arias, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the nightclub business and how to make money with the nightclub. All right, as you guys know, there are some great bonuses with the nightclub this week. I wanted to take an opportunity to give us a revamped and a refreshed and a new 2022 update for the nightclub business okay it's a great way to make money so follow along let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below before we get started make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on okay if you enjoy the video drop a like so first things first we're gonna buy a nightclub where do you do that go into your phone go to the online web portal go to maze bank foreclosures go up to the top and then just select the nightclub tab and you'll see there's 10 different nightclub locations. There's really not a bad location. I like to keep all mine kind of central to my other businesses. I picked Mission Row. It's roughly $1,440,000, okay? But they're all pretty affordable. After you make your purchase, of course, there'll be a bunch of upgrades. Some will be cosmetic and some will actually be crucial and critical to the functioning of your nightclub and how it makes its money. All right, you've got the nightclub style, you've got the lighting rig, you've got the nightclub name, uh, you've got the storage, and you got dancers, and you can kind of do a little preview of what the lights look like, which is really cool to show you a video, which is nice. Um, and But really, honestly, the only thing that you need to have is going to be in regard to the storage. Now, the storage is broke up into two different kind of uh, categories. You've got the actual cargo storage, which is where you're making your money. And then the other part of the storage is going to be your car garages. And you can add those at any time and as you want to go. Okay, but it's very important you guys understand that. Your storage, you're going to have five different levels of storage, okay? And for that, the total will be 1702550 if you want to buy all of the garage levels, which will give you 10 cars in each garage, you're looking at an extra 441350 But primarily, just focus on the storage levels, okay? So you want to pick those up. And you can kind of go as, you can add them on as you go, all right? Now, there's also going to be some equipment upgrade, staff upgrade, and security. The equipment upgrade is going to run you 1425000 The staff upgrade, 475000 The security upgrade, 695000 now, the equipment and the staff you should definitely go for, especially the equipment first. Uh, the security upgrade you do want to get, but you can hold off on that. It will increase the amount of time that you get rated by 50%. All right. It cuts it down dramatically. Now, with those different levels of cargo, you have to have technicians to fill them up. All right. You'll get one technician for free. That's Johan. And he comes with the nightclub, so he's free. The second technician is 141000 The third technician is 184500 The fourth technician is 240000 And the fifth technician is 312000 for a total of 878000 Okay? Now, once you got that taken care of, you're going to want to check out your nightclub. you got the cashier desk, which you can set like an entry fee and who can and can't come into the club and your dress code. There's also some awards linked up with this as well. I'll have other videos linked in the description down below that are a little bit more detailed and further on. Uh, so check that out. You can also dance in the club, which is hilarious. It's a lot of fun. Now, when you enter your nightclub, for business purposes, always enter through your garage entrance. There's two entrances. The main one where the line is. And then your garage entrance. The garage entrance allows you to navigate through the the garage into your office. You can kind of move a little bit faster. If you go in through the club entrance, your character can't move that fast, okay? Another thing is that you want to go to the basement level one for one particular reason, and that is to manage your popularity. The nightclub daily safe is huge now. I mean, you'll make up to $210,000 in just a few hours of pure passive income and that is huge. But your popularity runs down pretty quick, about 5% every in-game hour. And that's the wall safe right there. That red arrow is showing you. You just go to that wall, hit the right arrow key, and it opens up your wall safe, and you can get your daily nightclub income. After the contract DLC, the nightclub daily income safe amount has been adjusted to $210,000, and it will accumulate $50,000 per in-game hour, so every 48 minutes. Now, there's two ways of increasing your nightclub popularity. As you see, that top bar is fully empty. You can either do nightclub popularity missions, or you can just pay for your DJs and swap them out. The first DJ you purchase will be $100,000, but it fills up the nightclub popularity all the way up. However, after that, 
it'll take you 10 purchases to fill the nightclub popularity. So it increases 10% every time you buy or rebook a DJ. All right, so it's a total of 100,000, but all you have to do is just monitor this about every three hours and you come back to your nightclub or, which you'll see here in just a minute, you can go to the arcade as well. But yeah, about every three hours, you just, you just manage this. You go and you pay about twenty to $30,000 to keep your nightclub popularity boosted up. The nightclub popularity determines how fast your daily safe income will get acquired. And trust me, you want that $210,000 as often as you can get it because that'll make up a lot of money that definitely helps out in addition your warehouse technicians can be moved around you've got seven different categories and this is important you guys understand this the nightclub should only be purchased after you have the majority of the other businesses your cocoa business your cargo crates your uh, gun running your bunker all those different categories will filter from your existing businesses, all right? So keep that in mind. Make sure you have the other businesses first before you go with your nightclub. But once you do, it's money on top of money. It's really good. It's very easy and very simple. Now, as you see here, I'm showing you from inside my arcade at my master control terminal, I can access and rebook the DJs to increase the nightclub popularity. And I can also manage my technicians. This is also important. If your businesses stall out and they're not acquiring or accumulating any goods, the one best thing you can do is kind of move your technicians around and that'll help you out. All right. So from the mainframe of the computer, the next page will be your sell goods. And the sell goods kind of just breaks up into different kind of categories for you. You can sell special orders. That's a thing you can do. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just sell all goods because the sales are very simple, very easy. However, always sell at a million dollars or more because Tony's cut is capped at a million dollars. He takes 10% all the way up to a million. So if I'm selling at 800,000, he's going to take 80,000. But if I'm selling at 1.9 million, he's only going to take 100,000. All right. Now, before you do that, you will get one vehicle free to help you sell. And that's the Speedo van. But I do recommend that you purchase the Pounder Custom. It's normally 241,000. You get it on sale this week for a really good price. And when you go in, you don't have to customize it at all. You don't have to. But if you do any kind of customization to your pounder truck, to the delivery truck, just add light armor or reinforced riot. Don't add the heavy armor because it tends to kind of get hung up on the rocks when you're driving through stuff. For the weapons and things like that, the only weapons I'd really add are, you know, don't worry about the remote grenade. Nothing on the roof because it does get hung up on some of the bridges. I would add the proximity mines, and I would add either the mounted miniguns or the mounted missiles. Probably the mounted missiles. Do not buy the Mule Custom. Do not buy the Mule Custom for a delivery vehicle. You won't need it. It's terribly slow. It's horrible, okay? So, once all this is taken care of, you have all your upgrades and all your technicians. It'll take roughly 66 hours to get every single category filled up. Some categories fill up quicker than others. Um, but the, for, to get everything all together to be roughly 66 hours. Okay. So it's just something that you just sit and let produce in the background, but it fills up a lot quicker than what you would think. All right. So once you do that, you got it filled up. Now, if you are on the PS4 or the Xbox one version of GTA online, you're going to be getting roughly 1,690,000. However, the next gen consoles, there is a boost or a, I guess you could say a buff to the nightclub income just like there is for the MC businesses, all right? So for the next-gen consoles, it's going to pay out 1931500 roughly a 15% boost. And the sale missions are extremely easy. You can sell a fully loaded nightclub. There's really only two different types. Either you just drop a truck off somewhere or you make a few deliveries out of the truck and that's it. As you see right here, I just cleared 1831500 You do need to be in a solo public lobby or an MTU lobby. There is a 1% bonus per player if you go into a public lobby, so you have the, the possibility of getting up to a 30% bonus, but your sales are totally up to you. I recommend selling a full nightclub in a solo public lobby uh, and doing that, okay? But it's totally up to you how you want to do that. Pay attention to the description down below. I'm going to have other videos in regard to nightclub linked down there, some more information you guys can get. And throughout this week, I'm going to try and make some more refresher videos talking about certain things like you know the terabyte and how to make money with that uh, and a few other things about the nightclub as well, okay? So again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. 
If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Smash, I mean, smush smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah, yeah.